Hey guys, Tanner here. Let's discuss something in the theoretical sense. Just for a few minutes, let's live in a universe where the Lego Ninjago movie does not exist. Let's just say that despite this fact, some studio is still trying to make a Ninjago based movie, but instead of the Lego style, they would be doing a live action adaptation. A live action Ninjago movie is something that I think could be possible if done right, and it's one of my most desired things to come out of the Ninjago franchise, you know, besides an anime adaptation. As a big fan of the film industry, I can tell you that there are a few things that can make or break a movie. Two of the primary factors are of course the script and the actors, and while I have no idea what they would do for a live action Ninjago movie in terms of story, I can most certainly talk about the actors. Today I will be presenting my picks for the actors for this fictional project, and I had a few goals when doing so. I tried to pick actors in their 20s for the main ninja team, because I'd imagine a darker, more mature feel for this movie. My selections were also based on community reception and critical acclaim. Basically, I tried to select actors that had a good reputation in the film industry already, or had decent potential in my view. I've only selected actors for the main ninja team, Wu and Garmadon, and while I love the Ninjago voice cast already, I don't know if they would make good live action versions of their characters. So with all that being said, let's get right into my selection. For Kai, I decided to go with Dylan O'Brien for a few reasons. For one, his acting history suggests that he can handle action. He was the title character in the Maze Runner series, and while I can't confirm the actual quality presented in those films, I think it's safe to say he could make a good leader type character, which in a sense is what Kai pretty much is. Jay's role I think was the most difficult for me to cast, but in the end, I decided to go with Nick Robinson of Jurassic World fame. He's a relatively new face in the film industry, but I think he could make a good Jay. This one was probably the most risky selection on my list, but I think it would pay off in the long run. In contrast to my selection for Jay, I am extremely happy with this choice. Just looking at Daniel Radcliffe gives me Cole vibes, and I think it might actually be the eyebrows. Radcliffe has come a long way since his Harry Potter days, and I think at this current point in time, he can make an extremely convincing Master of Earth. Ansel Elgort is an actor who most recently made a name for himself in the film Baby Driver, and I think some of that talent could be carried over for a live-action version of Zane. Elgort could very well give off a cold, emotionless vibe that could match TV Zane's personality extremely well. I think in the film I would have him remain his human self instead of titanium to reduce the amount of CGI present in the film. Either that or we would have to get extremely creative with practical effects. This is another choice that I am extremely happy with, and along with the actor selection to play Cole, this was one of my first picks. Tom Holland looks extremely young for his age, and I feel like he would be perfect as the main character and youngest ninja Lloyd Garmadon. Holland has already proven himself title character worthy with his role in Spider-Man Homecoming, so he should have no trouble transforming himself into the Green Ninja. This is another pick that I'm not so sure about, but the more I think about it, the more I like it. Chloe Grace Moretz has played a few action roles in the past as well, and I think she could make a terrific Nia. She is a tad younger than the other actors, but that checks out because of course she is one of the youngest members of the team. And again, I'm not entirely sure about this selection. Okay, for this one, I am using an existing Master Wu actor already. Jackie Chan voiced the character in the real Ninjago movie, but since he's been playing action roles for a long while now, why not cast him in this adaptation? You know, before he retires altogether. Just give him a long white beard and a stick, and he'll make an awesome Master Wu. Josh Brolin, in my opinion, would make an amazing Lord Gromadon. I think it has something to do with his performance as Thanos in the MCU, but Brolin could definitely deliver an extremely intimidating version of Gromadon, as opposed to the wacky and psychotic version that we got from the actual Ninjago movie. Just think of an insanely powerful and competent Gromadon. Josh Brolin would be perfect. In the end, do I ever think a live-action version of Ninjago could happen? Probably not anytime soon. However, if any studio wanted to revisit the franchise in the distant future, I think it could definitely work. But for the time being, these are my picks for actors, and Ninjago will remain an animated series. But as always, feel free to leave your own thoughts down below as to who you would cast in the live-action version of Ninjago. And of course, if you had any comments related back to my picks, feel free to add those as well. That's pretty much all I have to say in this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to give this video a thumbs up rating. And as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button guys, it really does mean a lot to me. Once again, thank you guys so very much for watching. My name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.